你好，我是应敏老师。Using the correct measure word is very important to speak an intelligent and authentic Chinese. But the memorization is a headache for a lot of learners. Today, I'm going to teach you some of the most common and useful measure word in Chinese by explaining you the logic of each of them. First, ge. You know, ge is the most common measure word in Chinese. 一个人 a person. Or 一个国家 a country. The main reason that the non-Chinese speakers feel measure word is so hard to remember is because they don't know the original meaning of the measure word. Before being chosen as a measure word, these words had their own meanings. It's very important and useful if you know these meanings, like 个 the character 个 before being chosen as a measure word. It means individual. Like when you sign up in a website, you have personal account or company account. So personal account is 个人账号。个人 individual person is an individual. So that is the original meaning of 个 That's why it's chosen as the most common measure word for individual items. 一个玩具 a toy. 一个玩具哦，一个鸡蛋 an egg. 一个鸡蛋，一个城市 ，a city， 一个城市，一个故事 ，a story， 一个故事。Next major word is 张 ，is major word for object with a flat surface， like 一张桌子 ，a table or a desk。张 itself is a verb， it means to open。To spread, to stretch. For example, 小鸟张开了它的翅膀 The little bird spread open its wings. 小鸟张开了它的翅膀 So 张 to open to spread, and that's why it's chosen as a major word for object with a flat surface, spreaded surface. 一张桌子 a table or a desk. 一张桌子 ，or 一张床 ，a bed。一张床，一张纸 ，a paper。a piece of paper。一张纸。Did you know that 张 is also a major word for face? It's 一张脸 ，a face。这张脸 ，this face。The major word is not crazy. Instead, it's to make the language more expressive and precise. A lot of you guys left comments under my videos saying that my videos helped greatly to improve your vocabulary. Well, I'm so happy to see all these positive feedbacks. You know, if you want to grow your vocabulary more systematically, more fast, and with fun. You can also use our special Imin Chinese flashcards with colorful and beautiful designs. Instant download after the purchase. You will find the link of the cards down below in the description box. Next major word is 本 It's major word for books. 一本书 a book. 本 itself is a noun, meaning book or pamphlet. Actually, in an earlier time, the very original meaning of 本 is the root of a tree. Then it extended to the meaning of scripture that people follow, like the root of a spirit. Then later extended to the meaning of book. So we can see the character 本 in words as 课本 textbook, 课本 or 笔记本 notebook. 笔记本 So that's why 本 is chosen as major word for books. 一本书 a book. 一本书 or 一本小说 a novel. 一本小说 or 一本词典 a dictionary. 一本词典 Next major word is 量 It's a major word for cars, for vehicles. 量 This character 量 itself originally meant a chariot drawn by two horses, a kind of vehicle used in ancient warfare or racing. That's why you see the character 量 
two in this character, drawn by two horses. So that is the meaning of liang. So nowadays, we still see this character used in words as che liang, which means vehicle. Che liang. If you live in China, in many buses in China, you will hear the louder speaker say this phrase, 行人车辆,请注意安全. Pedestrians and vehicles, please pay attention to security. Please be careful. 行人车辆,请注意安全. 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 Anyway, that's why liang is chosen as a measure word for vehicles. 一辆卡车, a truck. 一辆卡车, or 一辆出租车, a taxi. 一辆出租车, or 一辆自行车, a bicycle. 一辆自行车. That is all the content for today's lesson about measure word. I hope the explanations about the original meanings of the visual words help you to have a better understanding of these words and help you to remember them more easily. So next time when you learn a new major word, try to check its original meaning or the normal meaning in other words that it forms. I'm sure you'll find that it makes more sense why and how it's used as a major word. Anyway, that's all for today. 谢谢你收看我的视频，我们下次再见。Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. 再见。